today's video i'm going to show you how to turn your phone into a controller you know this is basically simple but play store isn't making it simple for us because when you go to play store and you want to try to download this kind emulators you find it very difficult and challenging with all those kind of fake 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 game controller sites over there but with this game controller you can even basically control your phone turn your phone into a keyboard a touchpad and many more but we are going to focus on one main tax what you came here for and that is playing game using your phone as a controller and bear in mind this can also work with any other devices whether laptop phones or etc just like you know you don't have to suffer and you know they can shit so we are just gonna begin the video in about some few seconds but i just wanted to check something out over here so let's see this out okay so this is bitchy buggy racing actually i know how to play car racing games but in today's video i'm just want to test how responsive my pad can respond when i tap on it don't worry this is not my life i have a real driving license but over here it's just a game so it's not real i can just drive anyhow i want and i'll not be arrested for that enough joking around let's get serious whenever you are playing this game you can see the control layout actually follows my movement whenever i press a button it immediately things so you don't have to worry about lags or anything and the amazing thing enough is that Whenever you are playing it and you feel like the controller is not good enough, you can always switch it to a different control layout settings. That can maybe improve upon your gaming strategies and abilities and even enhance your gaming experience. So what this game controller app can do is more than just enough. You can also use it to control your mobile device just like a remote. Yes, just like a remote. It can basically do everything now you have to get your phone connected to the network and once that is done you will need to go to the play store and then download this app called gamepad remote you don't have to worry because this is not big it's just 1.7 mb after that you have to connect both devices to the same bluetooth you have to pair the bluetooth devices and once the bluetooth devices pairing is completed you have to now go on to the app and now pay. So as you can see, my Bluetooths are both connected. So I'll be using this tablet to ask the game and I'll be using this phone as a remote so now you go to the installed app and you click on the connect button up there it's very visible enough for you to see so once that is done you go to the pair option and you see the paired bluetooth device appearing over there so you just have to tap on it and just wait for the magic to happen once the magic happens you will see connection succeeded so let's wait for that magic to happen and there you have it, Bluetooth connected successfully. So this is another game I just tried out, just to make sure it runs every game just as it runs Peachy Baggy. And you can see it's a very nice experience. Thank you for watching. I will see you around.